Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Hopefully by now you guys have all had a chance to watch the Game of Thrones Comic-Con panel as well as the casting video. It's pretty much the people we thought it was going to be. I did a video a long time ago, but it was just rumors at that point. It's basically the Sand Snakes, some Martells, and a few other big characters like the High Sparrow. They did recast Marcella, but they recast actors every year. This video is going to be mostly about the characters that they did not announce, like Arianne Martell, the Greyjoy uncles, and young Griff. In case you're just finding me for the first time, I do weekly Game of Thrones videos. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I even do a weekly giveaway. I'll announce who the winners of last week's giveaway is at the end of this video. So full disclosure on the castings, just because certain people were not cast, it's not a confirmation that their parts of the story have been cut out entirely. So as long as we hear about them, say before December, they still have a chance of making it into season 5. The Child of the Forest was one of the big late castings from last year. They basically announced that in, I think, November. So if Arianne, Young Griff, and anyone else not in this casting video squeezes their way into Season 5, they'll have to do it by around that time. So, some of you might be asking, who is Arianne Martell and why is she such a big deal? In the books, she's Prince Durant's oldest child and his heir. Without giving away book spoilers, she has a very ambitious plan to seek revenge for Oberyn's death. A lot of that plays out in A Feast for Crows. The story of Season 5 is largely going to draw from that book. So because she's such a big deal in Book 4, to cut her out would mean cutting out a giant portion of the book. I'll explain in greater detail how the show might work around this whenever I get to spoilers, but it's possible for them to do Book 4 and cut her out. It would just be a big disappointment. Arianne's also a big character in Winds of Winter, or at least she's been teased as being a big character in that book. So the show would have an even harder time dealing with future things that she might do that George R. R. Martin has just not written yet. It's the same story with Young Griff and the Greyjoy Uncle, so just use spoiler tags whenever you're talking about them if you have read the books. If the show completely cuts Young Griff out, it would also mean cutting out anything he does in future books. As weird as that sounds, I actually thought they were going to cut him out after watching the season 4 finale. It just wasn't confirmed. This is where we need to talk a little bit about what happened at Comic-Con because things got a little bit weird between Dan and Dave and George R. R. Martin. Dan and Dave were a little bit weird on their own and George R. R. Martin was a little bit weird on his own, but then there was also a little bit of weirdness going on between them, mostly just because of all the changes with the show. So George R. R. Martin is actually not going to be doing any writing on the show in season 5 so that he could finish Winds of Winter, which everyone is super happy about, or at least the book readers. But it also means that he's not going to be involved with writing the scripts, which means there's potential for mega changes. George R. R. Martin has always been very open about how the show exists in an alternate universe from the books. He's not happy or mad about it, it's just that he acknowledges it's a thing and that the changes are only going to get more pronounced as we get further down the road. So if you're freaking out about this, don't worry, it's completely an alternate universe thing. It happens with comic book movies all the time. It's like DC Comics TV shows in the movies. They're all separate characters even though they flow from the same source material. Like Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy is not the same Batman that Ben Affleck is going to be playing in Batman vs Superman. So just so we can talk about Arianne, Young Griff, and the Greyjoy uncles, we need to move into spoilers. So mild spoiler warning for those characters in books 4 and 5. I won't get too specific with their plots in case any of you do want to read the books in the future, but we need to talk about them a little bit. So I'll wait just a second. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. Arianne's omission is probably the biggest character, at least right now in the story, just because she's such a big influence with the Marcella plot, or the side plot to the Dornish master plot. Prince Duran's plot, let's actually just call it the Dornish master plan. We can talk about that in a separate video, just because there's so much going on there. And just to be clear, I think that the show will do the Dornish master plan. Arianne has her own big side plot in book 4 to take down the Lannisters. Speaking of which, she also has some pretty awesome sex scenes with Eris Oakheart the King's Guard that Tyrion sent down with Marcella to guard her when the Martells took her in. Obviously that goes horribly wrong and Prince Duran reveals the Dornish Master plan to everyone and then we move into book 5. I'm so much more excited about seeing that play out after they cast Alexander Siddig. I'm gonna think about it as being like Dr. Bashir on Game of Thrones, just a genetically super smart person pulling all the strings of this epic plot in Westeros. I realize some of you guys never watched Deep Space Nine, so you have no idea what I'm talking about, but let's just say that that was one of my favorite TV shows of all time. It just seems like based on the castings, the show's going to streamline things and they'll go straight to the Dornish Master Plan. No Marcella side plot. Or if they do involve Marcella, it's just going to be very truncated. I guess I can deal with that, but I'm a little bit worried about what Arianne might be doing in Wins a Winner and how that's going to figure into the show and how they're going to change things then. It's a little too soon to speculate on that, so I try not to worry about it too much. But cutting her out means that they'll have to cut out a whole bunch of stuff, including the Dark Star. He was a minor character to begin with, so cutting him out isn't as big a deal as cutting Arian out. There is a little bit of confirmation that this is what's going on. In the casting announcements, it lists Tristane as Prince Durant's heir, not Arianne. 
And what about Young Griff? They haven't even made like a fake casting announcement. Sometimes shows do that whenever they want to hide the secret identity of a character. Last year, The Child of the Force was the closest thing to this. They didn't make it a secret. They just didn't make a public announcement. And they waited till way late in the year to cast him. But because of where Tyrion is in his story, if he were going to run into Jon Connington and Young Griff, he would do it in the first half of the season, meaning they'd have to be shooting those scenes right now, so they would have had to have already cast the actors. And since they didn't make any announcements, I think that they just cut those characters out. It's just the same thing as with Prince Dran and the Dornish Master Plan. The show's going to streamline Tyrion's story and take him straight to the Eastern Continent. I don't want to get too deep into Tyrion spoilers, but if you've read the books, I think he's just going to get where he is right now in Book 5 a lot faster. Just imagine all that Young Griff stuff not happening. The issue with that though is, is, you know, just like the Dark Star gets cut out of Arianne's plot, the Golden Company basically gets cut out of the Young Griff plot. So if everyone's getting cut out, it's possible that that group of people could never get mentioned again. And then there's Quentin Martell, who actually has a pretty big story. I'm hoping they just give his plot to Tristane. And then we have the Greyjoy uncles. I know everybody wants to see him on the show, but it's possible that they could just cut them out completely. One of the big reasons why the show does this is because they only get 10 episodes. One of those big comments that George R. R. Martin made at Comic-Con was is that he hoped that Game of Thrones would do 13 episodes, like the three extra episodes. He said that it would give them parody with other HBO dramas, which was kind of an inside dig at Dave and Dan. Whenever he said that, they actually had a weird look on their face. It was a bit awkward. The takeaway from that is that George R. R. Martin probably pushed for more episodes per season so they could do more characters, and Dave and Dan shot him down really early, like in season one. That's just my speculation though, that hasn't been confirmed. Okay, so spoilers over, let's talk about the confirmed characters. High Sparrow, Sand Snakes, Yazan, what is the show going to do with them? Well, let's look at what happened last year. All the characters that they put in the casting video last year, as well as the Season 3 casting video, ended up having pretty major parts. So everyone in this Season 5 video is probably going to get a lot of scenes. There were minor characters like Mark Gatiss that didn't really make it into a video, and they only ended up having very small parts. So it's likely that anyone else they cast between now and November will have a super small part. Really the biggest changes that you're going to notice from season 4 to 5 are the new locations, notably Bravos and Dorne, but how much time are we going to spend there? Probably not as much as you want. Remember, there's only 10 episodes and arguably Jon Snow, the Lannisters at King's Landing, Daenerys are the biggest characters. Don't be surprised if we only see truncated Arya stories in Bravos and the same situation in Dorne with the Martells. As we get deeper into the seasons, I start to get this sneaking suspicion that the way Dan and Dave are streamlining plots and characters the main characters in the series finale, like the very, very end, are people that we've already met. Like, they're the main characters right now. Like, new characters will always come on, but the most important characters, we've already met. Like, they're on the show right now. It feels like that's just the way TV works. In the books, you know, who knows what's going to end up happening. I think the character arrangement will change a lot. George R. R. Martin will kill a ton of really big people, but the show feels like it has to be so much more predictable. Or a better way to think about it is that the show has to be way easier to follow. But let me know how you feel about all these big characters being cut out, like Arian and Young Grip, or do you think that they're going to show up later in the story? I'm thinking that they're probably going to be cut out altogether, but we won't be able to confirm till later this year. And just to make you guys happier, here are the winners of last week's giveaway. I had a book giveaway and a Comic Con giveaway going on at the same time. So congratulations to Kinetic Vibe and Blunder Blus. You guys win the Funko Pop figures. And congratulations to Sarah Gennaro. You win the book. I'll be messaging all you guys on your channels for details, so be sure to check your inboxes. My next Game of Thrones video will probably be for the High Sparrow or the Martells that we're definitely going to be seeing in Season 5. So be sure to subscribe to get that. I'll try and post it by next week. But right now, click here to learn all about the Golden Company and click here to learn all about the Blackfire Rebellion. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.